Hi everybody, it's Danny here and in this video I'm going to be talking about the top five differences between the air-cooled condensing unit and the water-cooled condensing unit. Now this is by no means a technical video so I'm going to be staying away from the technical differences and talk instead talk about the differences that is more so important for the end user. Now I pulled these two units out from the storage I have back here and just to give you guys a visual of the differences because there's a lot of people that have never seen a water-cooled condensing unit. So this is a water-cooled condensing unit to my right and to my left I have a air-cooled condensing unit. Now let's start with the differences. Number one is the cost the installation cost and the operating cost. For both, the water-cooled condensing unit is much more expensive. That is because water, for the most part, is more expensive than electrical, than electricity in most regions. So therefore, the water-cooled is much more expensive than the air-cooled. Number two, is what I like to call usability. Uh, for the most part, the air-cooled condensing unit, you can mount these pretty much anywhere indoors um, because you don't have to worry about air movement or confined areas. Whereas for the air-cooled condensing unit, you cannot install these, you cannot mount these in confined areas because you will be uh, you will be tampering with the uh, air movement and with these air-cooled condensing units you cannot install these in, air, uh, in confined areas because of the air movement issue. So number one was the cost, number two was the usability and number three is going to be the durability. The Water-cooled condensing unit is much more durable than the air-cooled just because there is less parts, less moving parts in the water-cooled system. Now, I've been doing refrigeration for a long time and I've seen this with my own eyes that these air-cooled systems tend to break down much more often. Number four that uh, I like to say, I don't know if it is a difference, but I like to say it is the legislation. The legislation, the government, what I mean by legislation is the government. The government is cracking down on these water-cooled systems because of they waste a lot of water. So if you are a new business or if you're opening up a restaurant, a bar or nightclub, you might want to rethink about installing a water-cooled system because the inspector or the person who gives you a permit might give you a hard time just because they, know they do not want you to use any kind of wastewater uh, system. Also, I don't, uh, it's also important that if you are going to use a, a water-cooled system, make sure if you do pay for water you do not want to use these systems if you're not paying for water if, if on your lease says that the landlord is paying for water go ahead <laughs> use these water cooled systems they are much more better than the air cooled to my left so yeah it is also so it is important to know if you are actually paying for water or not and lastly, the last, last difference is the efficiency. These water-cooled systems are much more efficient than the air-cooled system. These water-cooled systems tend to be 30% more efficient than the air-cooled we have here to my left. So once again, the five differences are number one is the cost. The water cool tends to be much more expensive. Number two is the usability. You can use these water cooled systems in much more areas 
rather than the air cooled. Number three is the durability. These uh, water cooled systems tend to last much longer. Number three, number four, sorry, is number, number four is the legislation. The government is cracking down, so just be careful when you are when you guys are using these water cooled systems. And number five, last but not least, is the efficiency. These water cool systems are much more efficient than these air cool systems. Once again, this is Danny Norian. Hopefully, you learned something from this video, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.